It's time I come clean with the truth. I sit here and I paint pretty pictures full of puppies and rainbows telling you everything that you need to know about living in White Rock or South Surrey, British Columbia. I build it up, I make it sound amazing, and I make it sound like there could never be any other community that you should ever consider. All of that ends now. Today's video is all about the absolute worst parts about living in the White Rock and South Surrey neighborhood. The things that drive me absolutely crazy about living here. It's time to come clean and you're gonna wanna hang around to the very end as well because I'm gonna let you know how you can get even more information about these areas so you don't ever move here and be completely disappointed with what you get. So if that all sounds good, cue the music, let's get into it. My name is Darren, a realtor with McDonald Realty in Surrey, BC and team leader of the German group. If this is your first time on this channel and you want to learn everything there is to know about living in Surrey, BC, White Rock, BC, or anything to do with the crazy world of British Columbia real estate, consider subscribing so you are the first to learn about any of the market updates and the area. We have people book online meetups with us almost every single day who are looking to relocate to the areas we serve to get more information. And the good news is, is we're here to help you too. Whether you're moving in the next nine days, 90 days, or even nine months from now, use the provided link to speak with me and my team so you can learn everything you need to know about the areas we serve to help make sure that your move is the absolute best that it could ever be. I have filled this channel for long enough with fluff about living in both Surrey and White Rock and South Surrey, British Columbia. And I want to come clean today and tell you about some of the things that absolutely frustrate me to no end about living in the peninsula of South Surrey, White Rock. These are things that residents are completely disappointed in. It frustrates them as much as it frustrates me. And one of the biggest challenges about all these things is I don't know that any of them are going away anytime soon. So let's start building them up and let's dive into the five that I identified for you in today's video. And that way you can decide if South Surrey White Rock is a good place for you to even call home. Number one on our list is cell phone service. This is going to drive you bonkers when you move here. Just even looking at my phone right now, I can see that I have below the middle in bars. I have one bar out of four. And South Surrey White Rock is a pretty premier community. It's an expensive community. So why is the cell phone service so terrible where I live? Well, I got bad news for you. It's not just terrible right here. It's terrible in almost all of South Surrey. So the fact that most people that live in the neighborhood of both White Rock and South Surrey have landlines. Do you remember having a landline when you were a kid? It's probably gonna take you a ways back to think about that because it's been so long since you had to have one. Not only is the cell phone service absolutely terrible in most areas, but it is almost non-existent in certain areas of South Surrey and White Rock. Hanging out in the Grandview neighborhood, don't expect to make a call. Don't expect to make a call even driving down 24th Avenue, which is one of the main connectors in the whole community. Even more frustrating is when you're down at the beach, oftentimes your cell phone is gonna pick up US cell phone towers and start charging you roaming fees because the signal from there is so much stronger than the cell phone signals that you're gonna get in White Rock. I don't know if this is gonna be fixed. It's been complained about for a long, long time, but the cell service in South Surrey White Rock is absolutely horrendous. Number two on our list is lack of things to do. Now, don't get me wrong. There's lots to do in South Surrey White Rock outside you're not gonna find a better place to live in terms of getting outside. We are obviously very close to the beach. We've got tons of forest and trails and open park space that is absolutely beautiful to enjoy when the weather permits. But you're a smart person. You know there is so much more to life than just going and playing outside because we get a lot of rain here too. Something that's not on our list, but we do get a lot of rain out here. What if you want to see a show, like a comedy show or a play? What if you want to hear one of the new bands coming to town? You want to go see them even in an intimate space. You don't have to go to a major arena. What if you want to go check out the latest blockbuster movie at one of the big movie theaters with all the crazy sound and the huge screens? What if you want to go to a Michelin star premier restaurant? Or what if you even just want to go watch a sporting event like hockey, baseball, doesn't matter whatever sport it is. 
you are not going to get any of that living in South Surrey White Rock. You've got to go to Vancouver. And look, Vancouver is not close. It is almost a 60 minute drive from South Surrey White Rock to get to downtown Vancouver to go enjoy most of these things. Now there is some of this stuff in other of the neighboring communities, but the point is, is they're not here. You have to travel to go get them. So if you want some more things to do, more of a social life outside of just getting outside, you've got to get out of South Surrey and White Rock to go find them. This ties in super well to number three on our list, which is the brutal accessibility of South Surrey White Rock. Now, this location is tucked away on a peninsula. That means you are completely landlocked. You can only go into Surrey because you are bordered by ocean. This is the only option, straight through Surrey, which means you are fighting traffic to get to anywhere in the lower mainland. And because we are a Delta community, meaning there is tons of rivers and bridges, traffic can pile up really, really quickly, making commuting incredibly difficult. Not only is it difficult to drive to these just based on the time it takes to get there, but if you're someone that uses public transit, you might as well get Get that out of your mind right now. There is zero rapid transit like SkyTrain or Light Rail in White Rock or South Surrey. It is all bus and it's not overly convenient if you have somewhere specific that you need to go. This is something that the transit operator TransLink is working really hard to change, but this is gonna take a ton of time and a ton of money from all the communities until the public transportation improves substantially to get you around the lower mainland if you live in South Surrey White Rock. Hey, real quick, I don't run any ads on my videos, intentionally anyways, and put in about eight hours every week trying to bring you the very best content there is while keeping it somewhat entertaining too. The only ask that I have is that you help me spread the word on my videos so we can help more home buyers and sellers be wildly successful with real estate. Get it right the first time and dodge all the ways that people typically get burned when they buy or sell a home. Now, the only way that we can do that is if you give this video just a simple like to help other people like you find the content. That's the only thing we ask you to do. Don't even worry about subscribing. It will take you about three seconds and it would mean the absolute world to me, but more importantly, it may change the world for someone else. Thanks for clicking the like button and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Number four on our list is prices and more specifically housing prices. Now we've done a ton of videos in our living in South Surrey or living in White Rock playlist that you can check this out more in detail. But at the day of filming this video, if you want to buy a detached home in White Rock compared to some of the other municipalities in the Fraser Valley, this is what the numbers look like. White Rock comes in at a benchmark price of $1,939,400 compared to Surrey coming in at $1,646,900 compared to Langley coming in at also $1,623,700. And last on our list is North Delta coming in at $1,432,400. White Rock South Surrey is almost $300,000 more expensive for a detached house than some of the surrounding communities. That is absolutely bonkers and makes it incredibly difficult to buy a home out here. Number five and last on our list is the one that probably drives me the most crazy. And this isn't unique to South Surrey White Rock, but it's gonna drive you bonkers if you move here nonetheless. And this is the insane amount of construction that is always happening in the area. And this construction is related to various things. So South Surrey White Rock is an old community, except for some of the newer parts like Granby that have been added probably in the last about 15 years. With that being said though, this means the infrastructure is old, the roadways are old, and everything underneath those roadways are old as well. Oftentimes you are going to be finding the roadways completely torn up to upgrade services and help them meet the demands of the community. As we continue to add density, all of this infrastructure needs to be upgraded, including those roadways for the amount of cars that they need to house. Now, while we're on the topic, adding density is another construction nightmare in South Surrey White Rock because it is happening absolutely everywhere. As this density gets added, that means more and more people are moving to the community. So not only are you dealing with these construction nightmares, but generally you are having way more cars on the road, making your commute even worse. It just seems like the construction on the roadways in South Surrey White Rock is completely endless with no end in sight and a complete lack of well-versed public transportation makes it even worse. And here's the thing, there's even more to come. If you dive into the city of Surrey's community plan for what is going to happen to the Semiamu town center area, it is going to be incredibly developed between now and 2050. If you're interested in learning more about this, we did a video that looks just like this about everything that is coming to that neighborhood, 
all of the density and all the things you wanna know if you're considering purchasing in the area. Those are my top five things that drive me absolutely crazy about living in this community. And I'm curious, if you're someone that is considering moving here, do any of these things concern you? And if so, which one are you most worried about? For those of you that are watching that live in the community, leave us a comment below as well and let us know A, if we missed anything about living here that drives you crazy, or what is on this list that hits home for you. Now, before I let you go, this video was designed to let you know about the things that are gonna drive you absolutely crazy about living here. But to be honest with you, it's still pretty awesome. So how can you learn more about living in the communities of South Surrey and White Rock to make sure it's a good decision for you and your family if you're looking to relocate here? Well, that is checking out our Living in White Rock playlist or our Living in South Surrey playlist where we go deep into absolutely everything you need to know about being a resident in the area. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you're not missing it on any of the videos we're releasing on a regular basis about the communities of Surrey, BC and White Rock, BC. And we will definitely look forward to seeing you on the next video. Cheers.